So is there a true definition to what a pro photographer is? Well, there is and there isn't. But I'm here to answer the question, does off-brand gear, the Sigmas, the Tamrons, or the third-party gear, make you less pro? Here we go. So as I said, that is a question a lot of people ask. Well, if I own a Tamron lens, or a Sigma lens, or a Pentax lens, am I less pro? Well, no. That is definitely does not define what a photographer is. You have plenty of people who don't use 2.8 lenses and everything and Nikon lenses that are ph pro photographers out there. Why? Because they don't necessarily need them for what they do. Studio shooting is completely different than shooting a wedding or shooting sports uh, or something in general. So it doesn't matter necessarily what gear you have. It's just, you know, I kind of think of it as this. The beginners coming up before they buy their first Nikon, huge Nikon or, or Canon lens or something like that, They'll use the, the Tamron 28 to 75 or, or the Sigma 28 to 70 or something like that as a stepping, uh, as a stepping stone. And that's what I kind of did to getting their first Nikon 24 to 70, Canon 24 to 70, 70 to 200, et cetera. But that does not mean that these off-branded third-party lenses don't produce great uh, quality images. Sigma makes an art, a fine art basically series of lenses. They're 1.4s and everything like that, the 30, 35, 50, uh, 85, et cetera. And they are fantastic quality. Some people get those because that's what's in their budget. That doesn't mean you're less pro. Once again, it's not fully about the gear. You have to know what the hell you're doing uh, or you're not gonna get something of great quality anyway, even if you have the best Nikon, Canon lens, et cetera. And especially if you're into you know, video making, those primes and everything like that are fantastic. Uh, Sigma makes great stuff, uh, Tamron makes okay stuff. But yeah, so it doesn't mean you're less pro. It just means, well, you can't afford the bigger things right now or you cannot justify, and that's one of the huge things about buying gear, is justifying the cost. I could justify spending you know, uh, $1,600 on the 24 to 70, where someone might not, they might not uh, want to. But once again, it just comes down to personal preference and justifying, but does it make you less pro? Absolutely not. If you can make the shot with a basic kit lens, it doesn't matter, you got the shot you needed. But if you're shooting weddings and stuff like that, or sports, uh, and you want, you know, the good lenses, the 70 to 200s, and you can't spend a lot, then going third party branded, is not a bad idea. So that's all I got. Basically, it doesn't mean you're less pro. You can be a pro with basic stuff if you really needed to, basic flashes, basic cameras. Uh, yeah, it just makes it easier when you know what you're doing to get uh, the better gear. So that's all I got. What is your thoughts down below? I'm sure everyone has owned a uh, type of off-branded third-party lens uh, somewhere down the line. I definitely have. I have changed more out of that. But yet again, there's still great stuff, primes and everything out there they can get. Let me know down below. Eric Rossi, the guy with die. Doesn't mean you're less pro. Absolutely not. Uh, I think that's kind of ridiculous. Let me know.